So what's up guys? It's like yesterday I didn't even know your name Now today you're always on my mind I never could have predicted that I'd feel this so guys today's video is going to be my weight loss update video it's been a little while since i've updated you guys i think the last time i had lost 35.6 pounds and since then i have lost a lot more so i'm going to go into detail with you guys in this video and i'm going to talk about where i started from showing you the actual number um and i'm gonna talk about where i am today the things that i do in my weight loss journey and i'm also going to tell you about like future goals um um, I also posted on Instagram and Snapchat. If you're not following me, you may want to because if I have a question or something, I always go there first and ask you guys. Um, but anyway, I posted and I asked if you guys had any questions for me that you would like for me to answer in this video. And I got more questions than I thought I would have gotten. So I'm going to go ahead and get those questions answered in this video as well. Not sure how long it's going to be because I'm going to go into a little bit of detail. So you might want to get you a healthy snack and some water because I have my water right here in my brand new little Starbucks cup, y'all. I love Mad Black, like y'all know I do. But anyway, this video is not about this cup. It is about my weight loss journey. So I was just telling y'all I got my little water to sip on because it's a lot of tea that I'm about to spill about how I have lost the weight that I have. So let's jump. So guys, if you've been following me for a while, then you already know Crystal has been on a diet every single year since like 2010. Like I think I got on YouTube in like 2009 and I wasn't on a diet when I first got on YouTube but the right next year I went on a diet and I have been on a diet every single year which is crazy kind of embarrassing but it's my truth and I always live in my truth and it's something that I did and the reason that I did that was because I I got dieting down. Like I got it to the point where I knew exactly what to do to lose weight. I'll get to a certain point where I get tired of doing that and then I'll quit. I'll gain all the way back that I lost plus more. And then that normally happened after my birthday time, like from May all the way up to December or whatever. And then January, I will always make a new year's resolution to lose weight. And then I would do really good all the way till May. And then I will fall off and it just, it ended up just being something that I knew that I could control like I can drop 20 pounds real quick so yeah let me go ahead and just jump off my journey or whatever so I did that for so many years guys so many years and it's so crazy to say that like this year I had that in my mind no lie I knew that my new year's resolution was to lose weight but the difference between this year and every other year that I have lost weight or been on the weight loss journey is that I'm doing this one for me this whole thing is for me and I told baby that I don't know if I was ready to make this video yet because I get so emotional thinking about it so if I you know shed a tear or whatever since I'm good it's good tears or whatever but I'm gonna try to hold it back <clears throat> But yes, it's like this journey this time was for Crystal. Every other time I lost weight, it was because one, I knew how to lose weight. And two, it was always for an event or to fit into a dress or to, you know, look good to try to, you know, have better Instagram pictures. Like it was never for me. Like I always did fad diets. Like y'all, I done did all kind of diets. I did hydroxy cut. I did herbal life. Um, I did slim fast. Um, Nutrisystem. Like I done did all the diet sis, and it's so crazy to say. Um, but it's the truth. And so yeah, I done did all kind of diets, and I lost weight. Like I was successful on every diet I've ever been on. There has never been a diet that I started and didn't lose at least 20 pounds i think the um less or the minimum amount of weight i've lost was about 20 pounds and the most weight i lost is where i am today and i'm gonna go ahead and jump into those numbers with you guys because you know i can get kind of chatty and since we have so many questions and stuff i don't want this video to be that 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 long like it's gonna be long i want it to be that long so i'm gonna jump in
into the numbers and just let you guys know where I am now. So pretty much a little backstory on this whole situation is whenever the new year came around, it was January 2nd and I was talking to my mama and we, I can't remember what we was talking about. Um, but I had told her, I was like, girl, I feel like I done gained a little weight. And this is this year that I'm talking about. And my mama was like, you know, we are real honest with each other. She was like, yeah, you look like you put on a couple of pounds, but you know, not that much. And I was like, right? Cause I remember September of last year, 2017, I had my gallbladder removed. So, and whenever I was at that surgery, um, I'm gonna tell you my weight, I was 282 pounds when I had my gallbladder removed. The doctor had told me then that I need to really look into losing some weight because um, one, I was pre-diabetic and I did have high blood pressure, but my blood pressure just skyrocketed. Um, if you follow me on Snapchat, then one day I snapped and I let y'all know that I had to go get my blood pressure checked because it was 131 over 111 sis like it was the highest like stroke level um so I went to my doctor or whatever she took my blood pressure it had calmed down but she told me like Crystal you're you're going the wrong way and it's so crazy because before that my biggest that I had been was 292 pounds so whenever I weighed myself when I was getting my gallbladder removed and I saw that 282 I thought then like Crystal you are 10 pounds from the heaviest you've ever been you need to slow down so I talked to my doctor you know then and I let her know I'm gonna go ahead and do the gallbladder surgery and then after that I was gonna lose weight it was my new year's resolution I was gonna lose weight so fast forward back to January and so we get to January me and my mama just talking about it so she told me she's like yeah I think you gained a little bit not much and she said the same thing for herself I was like yeah I think we all got the holiday weight on us but I was like I was 282 you know what I'm saying at the little surgery situation so if anything I'd be like you know 285 287 something like like that so my mama jumped on the scale first and I'm not gonna tell her of numbers but she jumped on the scale and she was like whoa I have gained weight and I'm like what the scale say and I looked and I was like dang you did gain weight and she was like man I gotta get this off of me and I was like I know you can't go um backward because my mama used to be super super heavy she ended up having weight loss surgery and she has um had weight loss surgery oh she had weight loss surgery in 2004 so from 2004 to 2018 she has kept her weight off granted she has gained back a couple pounds but it wasn't the oh almost 200 pounds that she lost so um that, that's a blessing because i know some people who get weight loss surgery in the next year they to gain back their weight so for her to keep it off all of these years was good but when we saw that number i was just like oh man so it made me wonder i was like if she has gained that much weight how much weight have I gained? Because remember, I got my gallbladder moved in September and this was January. This actually was January the 2nd because I went into my fitness pal and logged the weight. Now, since that day, I have been taking scale pictures. So I literally have every scale picture of every weekly weigh-in. But um, when I saw this number, sis, I couldn't take the picture. I was just in awe. I couldn't believe it and everything. So pretty much... The weight that I was whenever I weighed myself January the 2nd, 2018, I was 297 pounds, 0.4. That's how big I was. I cannot believe I, I topped my highest, highest weight. Like the highest weight I've ever been was 292. So to see that 297.4 and realizing that I am three pounds away from being 300 pounds, and just thinking about like my family and what my doctor said and just everything rushed through me. I was like, this is it. We are not playing this game anymore. We are not going to play with our lives. I plan on being somebody's mother someday. I plan on carrying a baby. And how can I do this if I'm on all these medications for hypertension and high blood pressure and I think that's the same thing. Um, and diabetes and stuff like that. And that stuff already runs in my family. So it's already hereditary. And then I'm just going to keep adding to it by getting up over 300 pounds. Y'all, I was fed up. I'm about to cry. Oh, God. I was fed up. I was done. Like, I I had, I was so mad at myself. <laughs> I'm trying not to cry. 
I was so mad at myself for letting myself do that because nobody did that but me. Nobody ate that food but me. And granted, I know you'll say, oh, well, Courtney cook all the time or your parents, y'all go out to eat or your mama cook or you eating sweets. But people can bring stuff to you, but it has to be you that take it. They didn't shove that food in my mouth. Like, they didn't make me eat. They didn't make me get big. And it's crazy because just um rewind back to december the month before january um was our christmas party and i wanted to buy a dress because i wanted to look pretty for one and for two everything in my closet had started fitting very snug so i really didn't have a dress to wear so i went on fashion to figure and they are you know um they sell plus size clothes and i go on fashion to figure and i find this dress and i read the reviews on it and they just say it runs very true to size so if you're kind of like a mid-sized person meaning that your body is not shaped like the model's body you got a little stomach little thighs little butt you need to go up in the size and when i had to go up in the size that mean I had to buy a size 22 24 I was like wait a minute I was just in the 18 when I lost weight with herbal life you know what I'm saying and then when I saw myself get back to the 20 I should have known then like crystal you going in the wrong direction but no I had to push it to the limit and get up to a size 22 24 which I vowed I would never get up to got up to that size and then not only that I was almost 300 pounds y'all it just it really like ate at me. Like at this point, I went hard on myself. That That's the point where I sat down with Crystal and I said, look, you are playing with your life at this point and you need to get it together. And I gave myself a stern talking to. <laughs> and after that, I knew I had stuff going on in January, so I didn't want to set myself up for failure. So that was January 2nd when I weighed myself. I was 297.4 pounds. So I said, you know what? I have um, Laura's birthday because her birthday is the second week in January and we was turning up for that. And then the next weekend, me and baby went to Louisiana to see her family. And so I knew we was going to eat real good and turn up down there. And then that next weekend in January was my meet and greet. And I had a meet and greet at Payne with a twist and I had sandwiches and um cookies or what the hell cookies yeah i think i had cookies and um wine champagne everything so i knew that so i said okay crystal looking at this calendar when can i realistically start this journey and go for it so i looked at the calendar and i said january 29th which is crazy that i'm filming this today because today is officially my eight months that i have been on my journey um so anyway uh on the on january 29th well, I weighed myself on January 28th, I think. I can't remember when I weighed myself um, before I started. I think it was the 28th. But anyway, when I weighed myself on January 28th, after I went ahead and just lived my best life <laughs> for the rest of January, remember, I weighed myself on January 2nd. So after that, I did everything I needed to do those three weekends. I had, I lived my best life. I ate like I wasn't going to never eat again. <laughs> and crazy, but doing all that, when I weighed myself on January 28th, I was only 293.3 pounds. And I actually do have a scale picture for that one. Um, and that's where I started taking my scale pictures every week. But the crazy part about it is... I had lost four pounds some kind of way, and I don't even know how because I was eating crazy, but I was so busy and moving, so that could be why I lost weight. I don't know, but so from January 2nd to January 28th, I lost four pounds somewhere. So my heaviest where I started was two, well, um, where I, my heaviest was on January 2nd was 297.4, and then on January 28th, before I started my actual journey, when I weighed myself, I was 293.3. And so, yes, I went through and I had my whole weight loss journey. So I'm going to go into the information on what I do specifically on my journey. And then I'm going to tell you guys what I weigh today. So pretty much everybody always asks me, sis, what do you do? What do you do on your journey? What is working for you? How are you losing weight weekly? Because I do weigh myself weekly. I know a lot of people tell you, don't look at the scale. Don't weigh the scale. But to me, the scale is just like your evaluation at work. You don't know how well you're doing if you don't see or know the numbers. So it's not that you have to weigh yourself daily, but you do need to weigh yourself either weekly or bi-weekly just so you can know what you're doing. Because me, I try to change my diet up so I won't get tired of 
kind of like weekly or bi-weekly. I mean, when I say change it up, I mean like fluctuate my calories, you know, because I'm, I'm a calorie counter. So I try to do stuff like that just to see. And then when I change up some stuff or some food choices and what I did that week as far as my workout and stuff, I weigh myself on Sunday and I'll see how much weight I lost. The next week I do it another way and then I weigh myself the next Sunday and see how much weight I lost. And then that way I can gauge what works for my body. And that's what I use to continue to lose weight weekly. And you know, it's just a blessing. After eight months on my journey, I have still lost weight every single week. And that's the reason why I think it seems like it went fast. Cause everybody always tell me like, since it's only been eight months, I'm like, oh, and it wasn't even eight months then, it's eight months today, you know? And I'm like, yeah, it's like, that's crazy. So, um, but yes, it's just all you gotta do trial and error. And that's why you have to weigh yourself, you know, just so you will know where you at and gauge where you at. And yes, when you do see numbers, like, you know, maybe the scale went up and stuff like that, that is then when you can evaluate and figure out like, okay, well, did the scale go up because I weight trained this week and I lift weights and this is muscle I'm building, you know, and you can just kind of figure out what works for your body. Because remember, that's how I got so good at the whole situation of losing weight in the first place because I figured out what worked for me and kept doing it when at the time what worked for me was fad diets like I told you all the diets I've been on so that's what worked for me because I knew I just followed the diet to the T lose weight I need to lose for my birthday and we good to go so now that I didn't talk y'all ear off about how I feel about weighing yourself <laughs> pretty much let me just go into what I do on my diet so so I am a calorie counter I do not do keto I do not um, do like vegan or vegetarian diets, paleo, uh, Mediterranean diets. Like I do no diets. I literally count calories. That's the easiest way for me. And the reason being is because this had to be a lifestyle for me. And I know y'all hear this in everybody's video. Like it's not a diet, it's a lifestyle. But that's what we mean. It's a lifestyle. So you have to pick a lifestyle that you know that you can live with for your life. And I know that doing keto and having such low carbs, I'm never going to do that forever ever never so i was like okay keto has to be out and granted i see everybody getting very good success with keto but again like just researching keto and realizing like if your body gets out of ketosis what can happen and all that stuff i just was like i don't want to deal with this for the rest of my life and then same thing with the other diets i just looked at it and realized like that's not for me so i was like counting calories is it and then i downloaded my fitness pal my link is down below if you want to follow me on there my um diary and everything is public so you can see what i'm eating daily how much weight i'm losing because i post on there but yeah i downloaded the my fitness pal app and i use that to help me count calories i also um love that scale um by itch city i'll leave the link to the scale down below as well and that helps me like uh, what you got to realize with calorie count is it's only going to work if you do it the right way meaning if you do the serving sizes and actually count the calories you cannot log a salad on my fitness pal as a salad and you got cheese bacon bits croutons egg ranch dressing like you have to literally log all of that a salad is not a salad now if if there's a um a choice for a salad with all this stuff in it then yeah you can log that but when people say oh crystal today i only ate a chicken breast and broccoli and then they have all this cheese on top you gotta count the cheese and you gotta if you cooked it in butter or anything you gotta count the calories from that so calorie count is a lot and i'm not you know i always tell people this is a lot since like it's crazy but the good thing about calorie count is after you do it for so long you know it baby I always make fun of me because i promise i can look at something and be like oh girl that's 68 calories <laughs> you know stuff like that serving sizes you can i can eyeball a serving size now because i've done it so long so that stuff comes when you do it daily so at first guys anything that you start whether it's riding a bike skating doing makeup doing hair anything that you first do is going to be hard because you don't know what you're doing but what they say give yourself 21 days to make a habit give yourself those 21 days and i promise you after that it gets easier every time it's so nothing for me to get in there and do my meal prep and prep my stuff and all that now i ain't gonna lie when i first started it was hard i was like man why i gotta spend an hour cooking all this stuff and packing this stuff up and counting like it was so hard for me at first but i realized like i got goals and i need to do this for the health of me and i need to do this for me if i can spend time you know watching people's videos or 
going to stores and spending money, then I can spend time doing something for Crystal that can help me. So that's the reason why I always tell people like your motivation just comes from you making stuff a habit. So yes, now that I done got off again, see I told you this video, I was just gonna be talking. So I calorie count and it is a lot, but it just works for me and I'm able to like, you know, go up on my calories if I need be and stuff like that. So what I do is I have 1300 calories a day and believe it or not, 1300 calories is a lot of food if you are doing it right if you are mixing it with mostly vegetables because um like if you see in my meal prep video those collard greens or mustard greens or anything like that are only 20 25 for the mustard greens and 35 calories for the collard greens for one cup so if you real hungry one day you want to eat three cups of the mustard greens down 25 calories that's 75 calories that you just ate you know and 75 calories for three cups of greens that's a whole bowl so it's just you just got to figure out what foods are, you know, lower in calories and then you can eat more for your 1300. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully that makes sense. If it didn't, let me know and I'll try to explain it better. So yes, I count calories. I also take two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar every single morning. I have done this every day on my weight loss journey since January. I remember standing in the kitchen that first day, baby could tell y'all, I take baby to tell y'all a story that um I was just like, oh my God, I don't want to do this. Forget this. I'm just going to lose weight with out this stuff but um y'all when i tell you apple cider vinegar is the goat that's all i'm gonna say i'm actually going to do a separate video on apple cider vinegar because i got so many questions about that so i'm just gonna make that its own video because if i put it in here this video is gonna be two hours long so yeah i'll do a whole nother video on apple cider vinegar and if you want to see that give a thumbs up to this video but yes along with calorie count and apple cider vinegar i also drink a gallon of water a day now here lately i'm not gonna lie i've been drinking more than a gallon of water only because it's like my body craves water um it's just something about waking up first thing in the morning taking my apple cider vinegar shot and then drinking a big glass of water like all my starbucks cups that i got are 24 ounces so I fill this cup up and it is like my duty to make sure this cup is gone before I go to work. It doesn't necessarily have to be gone before I leave the house, but before I get out the car at work, I need to have finished this water. And then that way I can fill it up again. And me starting that early in the day, I think is the reason why I drink more than a gallon now, which I don't drink that much more. I think I end up drinking a gallon of water is 128 ounces and I drink 152 ounces on a regular day. So it's just like an extra one of these cups or whatever. So, um, so yeah i think just by me starting so early in the morning is the reason why i'm able to drink um all of my water in the day and have to add on water but for the most part like i tell baby all the time that's no excuse either with the whole water situation because the recommended daily amount of water is 64 ounces which is eight glasses of water which i have an ozarka bottle right here which is only four of these bottles if you just drink one with breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and then have one just, you know, to sip on, boom, you got your recommended daily water in, and at least you're giving your body something. The reason people drink so much water, like on the weight loss journey, is because water really flushes you, and that's how you're able to lose weight faster. I can't believe I'm about to tell y'all this, but your girl has not worked out since before me and baby got married. Like, I was going super hard two -a days in August and trying to get this body right because I wanted to get to a certain size before the wedding so uh yeah i did that but it's like after the wedding i haven't worked out so literally i haven't worked out in a month and i'm still losing weight weight every week because one i count my calories and two i still drink my water and the apple cider vinegar so like the the saying is true um fitness is 80 percent diet 20 percent working out working out comes when you want to build your body but if you just need to lose some weight shed some pounds um yeah that's that's that stuff work <laughs> so yeah i count calories i do apple cider vinegar i drink a gallon of water a day and i intermediate fast now a lot of people always say what is intermediate fasting oh i can't do it it's hard like they don't even let you answer they go straight into that but i'm gonna tell you right now what intermediate fasting is it is only picking a time window to eat and a time window to fast that's all it is intermediate fasting don't even have to be healthy food it's all about the time it's all about giving your body the fasting time to actually digest the food that you already put in it so with intermediate fasting you have so many different kinds you have the 16 8 method you have the 24 method you have the 5 2 method i think it's called 5 2 um and then you have like the well i think the 5 2 is where you fast for like 24 hours and then you eat for two days and fast for 24 
for my hours, stuff like that. So there are levels to intermediate fasting, but I'm on the basic level, sis, the basic one. <laughs> and that's the 16-8. So that means I fast for 16 hours and I only eat for eight hours. Now I know you're thinking like, oh my God, you starving yourself, you fasting for 16 hours? The 16 hours includes your sleep time and you're supposed to be getting eight hours of sleep a day, at least six, you know? So that is including that time. So pretty much I fast from 6 p.m. to 10 a.m., which is my 16 hours, and I eat from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. So I only eat for eight hours. Now within that eight hours, you're supposed to eat your calories. I eat 1300 calories within my eight hour period and I cut it off at 6 p.m. and no, no calories go in my mouth until 10 a.m. the next day. I don't even take my vitamins or anything. Now I can do my apple cider vinegar shots in the morning because uh, apple cider vinegar is zero calories, zero everything. So, and you can still drink water during your fasting time because it's zero, but you do not want to consume calories um, because consuming calories break your fast. And then what's the point of intermediate fasting if your fast is broke? Like you might as well go ahead and eat because your body is not doing what it needs to do when it's in a fasted state. So yes guys, that is what I do. I'm gonna go over it one more time for you guys. I count calories and I have 1300 daily. I drink a gallon of water a day. I do two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar every single morning and I intermediate fast using the 16-8 method and that is what I have been doing to lose weight and granted I know it sounds easy but it's so hard especially when you first start fasting because your body's not used to that. Like my body used to be used to stopping at Jack in the Box on my way to work and getting breakfast. But now to know that when I get to work at seven, I still got a couple of hours before I can even eat breakfast. That's crazy. And I know everybody has this whole like, oh, you're supposed to eat breakfast. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. It's not that you're not eating breakfast with intermediate fasting. It's just that you pushing the time. Cause think about it like this. The people who party all night and sleep till 10 and 11, 1 p.m. in the evening, then they get up and eat and do that. Like, it's the same thing. It's just that you're up moving, you know? So, it's crazy to say, but it has really been working, and that's what I've been doing. So, now that I talked you guys ear off about that, let me go ahead and reveal to you what I weigh today. So, as of September the 29th, 2018, which is my eight months on my journey, I am 222.8 pounds. Yes, sis, I have lost 74.8 pounds. So, I am shocked. Every time I say it, I get shocked. Every time I see myself, I'm shocked. Every time somebody come up to me and be like, oh girl, you done lost all that weight. <laughs> I get shocked. I cannot believe I did it. And I got more goals and I'm gonna jump into the goals pretty fast. So my goal is to lose 100 pounds. Now granted, I do have extended goals because after the 100 pounds, I wanna lose a little bit more. <laughs> but like my goal right now is to lose 100 pounds. I don't have a time limit. Throughout my journey, if you follow me on social other social media then you would know that like I wanted to be 250 pounds by my by my birthday and I made it I wanted to be 230 pounds by the time I married my baby and I made it and then since then I don't have a necessary like time limit on what I wanted to do to get to my 100 pounds loss but I am still actively on my weight loss journey as y'all see I do my meal prep videos I do those very faithfully every Sunday we don't miss a week because if I miss a week and let myself slack all of this work that I've done thus far will be in vain and I refuse to let all that work be in vain the emotions that I get when I just think about this journey and how near and dear it is to my heart and how I'm helping other people and how they don't know they helping me every time they tell me I motivate them and I'm like well you telling me that motivated me you know what I'm saying so I will be just letting down and again I'm not saying on my journey or trying to reach 100 pounds to to satisfy you guys and I'm not saying that to be like I'm not doing this for you but I'm being realistic I'm doing this for me and it just so happened that I can share my journey with you you can get some from it and maybe you know reach your goals as well so you got to do it for you you got to get your mind right first your diet is your mind like your journey is the food the exercise and all that stuff but the diet is your mind. That's where you gotta know that you don't need those fries. You don't need that fried chicken. You don't, you know, need a whole platter of food, stuff like that. And it, and, and again, when I tell y'all it's not easy, there has been so many times I've been in here mad because I can't eat y'all. When I started my journey, I was very like just agged about everything. Like that's a whole nother video. I can just 
tell you the side effects of starting a journey and especially when you're addicted to food the way that I was where I ate food no matter what happy sad glad excited you know mourning depressed like I just always ate it was my pastime it was my hobby it was everything so it's like to go from being that way to restricting myself the way that I had to do when I started my journey um because now I've let myself get a little bit more um what's the word like I let, I let myself have cheat days now you know when I first started my journey I did the first 90 days with no cheat days because I know me and in this sense this has nothing to do with nobody else this is you knowing you this is me knowing that I have been a serial dieter for so many years that if I allow myself to have a cheat day too soon I will fall right back into what I did and being seeing that number that 297.4 I was like, no, I can't be back there. So I I stayed fast and I made it 90 days into my weight loss journey before I even had a cheat day. And now, since I went so long and I trained myself and I made a habit, I'm able to have cheat days now and get right back on. And I'm still losing weight weekly, even with my cheat days. So that works out so So good. yes, sis, pretty much I done taught y'all ear off in the first part of this video. I got to do this Q&A because I got a lot of questions to answer. And I thought they were I'll be the same questions because you know sometimes some people ask the same things but surprisingly they're not so i do have my phone right here and i'm going to go through the questions i'm not going to say who said it because you know i don't know if people want me to put their business or their social media handles out there so i won't do that but i will read the question and then i'm going to answer it so um i asked this on instagram snapchat and oh youtube so i have questions from there so i'm gonna flip through so the first question that i got is what do you struggle with the most while trying to lose weight and honestly it's other people i struggle with other people telling me what i should do or what worked for them or what somebody told them that i should do stuff like that so it's like whenever you know what you need to do whenever you know how your body works and how many calories you should be taking and what you need to burn off when you work out and stuff like that then you kind of need to stick with it like i know there are so many like different fad diets that go on or case in point i'm looking at my weight loss group and i know i count calories and i know how i do my thing over here and then i see somebody that posts like oh my god keto is the best i just lost 200 pounds and i'm like damn why i'm not doing keto you know so it's like the struggle part is me just not one comparing myself to other people because my journey is my journey and their journey is their journey and also the other people trying to tell me what to do so that's my biggest struggle and again at first you are going to like you know struggle a little bit especially when you really like food and you don't want to give it up but once you train yourself and realize that you're doing this for your health and you start to feel better and you start to see results and stuff then it'll make you continue so the next question is what's the best way to get rid of sugar cravings and pretty much it is to stop them now i know that sounds crazy because you're like wait a minute that's not what i asked the reason i say that is because your body craves what you give it and it's gonna take a little while so if you keep giving your body chips every day then you wonder why you crave chips that's the reason why it's the same thing with vegetables if you give yourself vegetables every day and then you wonder why all of a sudden you want to stop and get a salad it's because you have given your body something and now it knows what to crave so the best way to stop the sugar habit or kick the sugar habit or the crave is to stop the sugar cold turkey like now granted when I say cold turkey some people can't do that so you have to wing yourself off so if you used to having five Snickers a week then this week only have three Snickers a week and actually in this situation that worked for my mama because remember like I told y'all at the beginning my mama had gained a little weight too and as of today I talked to her she has lost 22 pounds um and she didn't even go extreme as me like i went extreme and submitted fast and apple cider vinegar my mama literally cut out sodas chips and candy and that's how she's lost her 22 pounds she go to the gym twice a week that's it and she don't even do hard hard workout because um she had to get a knee replacement so she can't like go super hard so she's not even doing like super hard working out so just doing like the minimum 30 minutes a day working out and just cutting those things she's lost 22 pounds so it's like sometimes you just gotta find what works for you but the one thing that i do know is to eliminate the sugar cravings or the cravings for chips or bread and stuff is to is to cut it out completely 
completely and then you won't crave those things um because now i do have cravings because i have cheat days but before like when i was on my 90 days i didn't even crave to one that's how i was able to make 90 days without a cheat day the next question is are you experiencing any loose skin yes ma'am i have a flabby flabby arms um and a little bit of flabby thighs but believe it or not, my stomach is not loose skin. Now, granted, I still got a little bit of a stomach. That's why your girl got a new waist trainer. Um, but it's not flabby, which I am so excited about because that's the one thing I was worried about. Now, my arms, I ain't gonna lie, I'm a little bit self-conscious of them now than I was before because before I just feel like, hey, I was fat, so you know my arms supposed to be fat. Um, but now I feel like since I'm smaller, that like is real prevalent that you can see how fat my arm is. So I um have been looking up like arm exercises, even my back fat. That that's not cute either. Um, so I've been looking up those kind of exercises. So actually, starting Monday, October first, I put myself on the 30 day challenge where I'm gonna work out four times a week. I'm gonna do strength training and cardio and just kind of rebuild my body. Cause since we got some goals over here, <laughs> so pretty much to answer your question, yes, I do have loose skin, just a little on my thighs and my arms um and my little back fat the next question is um she said so i'm trying to lose some weight myself but i find that it's hard to resist temptation how do you keep your cheat days down to one day um so pretty much this is what you got to do and what you have to remember and this is the rule that i live by if it is something that I can eat every single day, meaning if I can go to McDonald's or not if, I can drive through any McDonald's drive through anytime that I want and get what I want to eat. I don't eat it. I just know that, hey, Sundays are my cheat days. So if I want it on Tuesday, I just continue to do good. So when I eat it on Sunday, I don't feel guilty for it. So if it's something that I can get any day of the week or get at any time, then there's no need to mess up your journey cheating with that food but if it's something that i can't never get again then i'm gonna eat it right then like if they got some rare chocolate from the hills of colorado or something that i ain't gonna never get to taste again <laughs> they like crystal if you don't taste this now it's going away forever you never see it then i'll go ahead and cheat a little bit i'll taste it <laughs> but yeah if it's something some everyday food that i can eat anytime then i wouldn't i wouldn't sabotage my weight loss journey to have that when I know I have a cheat day coming. So somebody else left a comment and they said cooking healthy and cheat days and pretty much like I said when you want to do cheat days is when you know you can trust yourself doing cheat days. So if you know that once you do a cheat day that cheat day turned into another cheat day and turned into another cheat day then you need to go ahead and make it a habit first before you allow yourself to have cheat days. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I had to do and granted it didn't take me 21 days since it took me them whole 90 days before I realized that when I have a cheat day I gotta bounce back. <laughs> but but that's just me that's just my journey you know somebody else they may learn in the 21 days something like that so um yeah with your cheat days you just got to know yourself and trust yourself and live in your truth if you know that you will fall off then don't do it you know don't set yourself up for failure if you know that this one trigger will make you like if you eat a cracker you know that's gonna make you want a bag of chips don't eat the cracker now granted i'm not saying to not give yourself what you want if you have a craving and that craving won't go away it's not going to hurt you to have that bag of chips. But if you have that bag of chips, you can't have 13 other bag of chips that we can then, you know, expect to be on your journey. It's just realistic. You have to live in your truth. And the same thing is with cooking healthy. You know you can't put a whole stick of butter in a pan and cook some chicken and think that's going to be some healthy chicken. No, sis, it's not. You have to be realistic. And this is where you have to be creative and you have to do a little research. You look around, find recipes, try new things. Like, that's the biggest thing I can say on this journey is your girl eat bell peppers now by themselves. I eat spinach. I eat broccoli, um, asparagus, zucchini, squash. Like, I eat all that stuff. Before this, I would have never, and I say never ate that stuff but now i tear it up and i crave it like i told baby this week i'm making bell pepper nacho boats which i will have that video up soon for you guys um yeah that's what i'm eating for dinner i love them they give me the flavoring that i need at the time but it's healthy for you because it's bell pepper meat and cheese that's it you know what i'm saying so it's stuff like that like to cook healthy you just got to do a little research and you know look around try new stuff the next question is what's your workout routine 
and my workout routine right now is non-existent <laughs> realistically but starting on monday october 1st when i start my little 30 day challenge and granted when i get to 30 days i'm not gonna just stop working out but once i get to my 30 days i'm just gonna see how my body changed and you know see what i need to tweak and stuff but anyway what i do is i do a lot of at home workouts well i do all at home workouts i do not have a gym membership i do have um my apartment gym that i can go to but it be full in there sometimes and people want to be in there playing like they're not even in there working out they in there just sitting on the equipment looking at their phone and stuff like that so it's like i don't have time to let them discourage me because that would discourage me i walk in and be like oh i thought i was gonna work out but i did you know stuff like that so i do work out at home i do fit body by ashley she does cardio hip-hop she has so many videos you can do i do Leslie Samsung, I think that's her name, and she's a walking lady. So on days that I'm just not feeling it or I'm sore from the day before and I know I'm going to work out, any workout counts, especially walking. So I do those walk in front of this TV videos, those two miles, and I burn calories, you know? And any, again, any workout counts. So don't think, don't discredit yourself thinking, oh, this is just walking in front of the TV. I ain't losing no weight. No, sis, any workout counts. So yeah, I do that. Um, I found another lady named Cook. Uh, Kokobo Fitness and she does more strength training like make you grow that booty get the get rid of that back fat your abs Stuff like that and I'll leave the all their channels down below so you can go check them out and grant and again It is working out at home in front of your TV with yourself Um, and then I do go over to my apartment gym Like I said at times and jump on the treadmill Which I think I've only been over there two times or whatever But I do want to start doing more because I want to amp up my cardio for my little 30 day challenge So I know I'm gonna have to get out this living room and go run on that treadmill so Pretty much my workout routine is just those YouTube channels that I do and I just pick a different video and do it every day and I'll do the video in full and if it's a short video, I mix videos together to make me a whole workout. Okay, so another question I got was how did you get motivated again? And sis, when I tell you, it's just because I had reached that breaking point and I was like, I have to do something. And now the way I stay motivated in my weight loss journey is because I don't want to mess up. Like I don't want to mess up the progress that I made. And even on my cheat days, I make sure that I intermediate fast. Like, yeah, I eat what I want to eat. I do allow myself to eat what I want to eat, but I still do intermediate fast and I just don't go crazy. Cause intermediate fast, like I told y'all before, it's not necessarily what you eat. It's just the times that you eat. So that's how I'm still able to lose weight because I still do intermediate fast during that time um and y'all know like last Sunday we had Wingstop and this Sunday we have it Dickies I'm getting a, um a barbecue uh what you call it a baked potato I said a barbecue a baked potato so I mean like I still do let myself um have that time but i had to like work my way up to that and just my motivation just came from me not going back to 297 pounds and also me not giving up all this hard work because if you think about you already struggled not to eat the food so it's like why give in and gain all the way back and all that struggle is lost so you just got to know that like this time is for real another question i got she said can you talk about the water fast can you at least eat fruits and veggies um or or do you only have to drink water because i take medication also my cardio routine so my cardio routine is fit body by ashley she does the cardio hip-hop and her link is down below and literally i do all of her videos i think i've done them all and i just whichever video is hard for me i keep doing that one until it's easy and then i move to the next and i don't know if you guys know well yeah i think you do know that i went on a water fast i've actually went on two water fasts um and i will make a whole separate video for that one because this one is already super long um but but pretty much with water fasting, um, on a water fast, you can't eat, but there's different type of fast. So you can do a fruit fast or you can do a, um, I was going to say like a no meat fast where you're only eating vegetables and stuff like that. So the water fast is extreme and it's just based on that person. Um, so if you know that you're on medication and stuff like that, then maybe do a fruit fast or a veggie fast or, you know, something like that. Or maybe fast, like intermediate fast where you only fast half the day and you can eat the rest of the day, stuff like that. But I'll go more into the water fast and how to survive the water fast because like I said, the first time I did it, I did it for 
five days and I lost 15.6 pounds and the second time I did the water fast I did it for four days and I actually lost 18 pounds and like I said I will talk about that in a whole nother video um because the water fast for me wasn't necessarily about the weight loss I mean I knew I was gonna lose weight because I wasn't eating it was water only but um yeah so I just want to talk more about that so that'll be in a separate video so another question that I got was like a real one for me and it says how has your perspective changed with this diet? Have you noticed a change in how you view things? P.S. I love you and Courtney so much. We love you too. Thanks, sis. Um, my perspective have has changed a lot. Um, it's like I see the world differently and I wouldn't have thought I would. And especially since I've been on a diet consistently every year since like 2010, I wouldn't think that losing weight would like make me look at stuff different, but it does. Even the way I pick my clothes now, like if y'all notice, I used to always wear all black, all gray, just like dull colors and just like that. But now when I go into the store, I navigate toward stuff with colors in it. Now granted, black is still one of my favorite colors. So black gonna be something in the in the puzzle but it's not the main piece of the puzzle anymore for me so just my my perspective has just been like to love myself more and don't restrict myself so much like if i want to wear a yellow shirt i can wear a yellow shirt you know i don't have to wear black because i'm a certain size so i can say that that's something that kind of changed and how you notice the change and how you view things and um just a little bit as far as when people tell me they can't do something because i'm like do you know the struggle that i feel especially like being on a water fast and stuff that's a real struggle. So for me to make it four days, five days on the water fast, and for, for you to tell me that you can't cut out just one day of not eating bread. Like if you eat bread every day for seven days, you can't just go one day without eating the bread. Like it just makes me look at people like you really don't want it. That's why I say you have to have your mind right. Get your mind right before you even try to start. Because if you don't, you will you're setting yourself up for failure. so the next question we have is how do you stop the sugar cravings soda candy cookies chips all the things that are bad for you and i mentioned this before and that is just you have to stop yourself like wing yourself off of it me i'm the kind of person where i have really strong determination so i can go cold turkey on something but i do realize not everybody is like me so wing yourself off of it if you're used to having four sodas a day cut that down to three sodas until you get to two sodas until you get to one soda until you get to know sodas just wing yourself down um and then you'll start to find out that those cravings will kind of disappear if you don't give yourself that much the next question is well i really want to know how you stay motivated i start then i stop shaking my head i swear i need accountability partner because i always let myself slide and i end up not doing anything any suggestions thanks in advance sis thank you for your question and pretty much like i said you know early in the video you just gotta want it for you like it's okay to be overweight and not want to lose weight i know that's taboo when people just believe it but i went to a vision board party today it's over there and i don't want to get up but one of the quotes that was found in the magazine for my vision board was that everybody's body is a different shape so we should just um embrace all shapes so if you're so, overweight and you're okay with that truly you're okay with that i don't care about anybody else if you're truly okay with that and you are not ready to lose weight then don't force yourself because when you're ready you will stick to it and to stay motivated is just think about your results and your progress like i said i don't went from being a complete foodie eating four and five six thousand calories a day to only eating 1300 calories and, and to be honest i don't even eat a full 1300 calories all the time Time. sometimes I stop at 1100 sometimes you know I can eat a thousand and it's crazy it just depends on how much of stuff I'm eating and stuff like that so pretty much my motivation is just I can't go back I saw where I came from I see my struggle still daily because it's a struggle not to eat no Oreos it is a very struggle so once I make it Monday through Saturday realizing that I made it. I didn't cheat. I allow myself to have what I want on Sunday and then I start back over Monday. So that's how I keep my motivation just by, you know, rewarding myself when I do good. The next comment is how about what you eat in a day example. Now I do have a video about that and that is linked below so you can see what I eat in a day. And if you look at my meal prep video, you will also see what I eat in a day, but I pretty much keep it, you know, very convenient because I'm very, very busy. So I don't have time to like, 
you know, fresh prep, you know, as far as like cutting up vegetables and all that. And then that stuff will go bad. I move around, all that stuff. So I, I do use like a lot of um, microwave food, but I just try to find the healthiest out of that. Count my calories and hey, it's been working. Okay, so the next question is a lot of questions in one. So her first question was, how much weight did you lose? And I've lost 74.8 pounds. Her second question is in how many months? And it's been eight months, which I'm filming this on Saturday. Tomorrow morning is Sunday and I will actually be doing another weigh in because I weigh every Sunday. So I could be even smaller sis. But as of today, <laughs> as of eight months, I've lost. I mean, I'm, um, uh, yeah, it's been eight months. Her next question is if you lose the last 27 pounds because she must follow me on other social media, well, she must, I know she follows me on other social media. Um, and I always talk about how many more pounds I got to go. So she asks if I lose my last 27 pounds, is my diet going to change or will I eat the same way forever? And my diet is going to change in the sense that I'm probably going to add an extra cheat day, meaning a Saturday, Sunday to have a cheat weekend, but I will constantly forever eat the way I eat. Me and baby was actually just talking about that and just that I done got to the point now that I actually like vegetables and I like ground turkey and I like the way I do it that it's not a diet for me anymore like even on my cheat days sometimes I still eat my diet food you know what I'm saying it's like sometimes I don't crave McDonald's or I don't crave Wingstop and I will go and eat my veggie pasta or my ground turkey and stuff so yes I can see myself doing this and especially since I know I have a tendency to fall off and gain all my weight back plus more I would die sis if I get back up to 290 anything now that I'm in the 220s I'm gonna keep pushing it down we're not even going back up from this point so yes I will be this way for the rest of my life like that's why I told you I couldn't do like keto or anything like that because realistically I wouldn't but the way that I'm doing it I can see myself doing this forever another one of her questions is are you ever bored with this lifestyle and I was at first I got to the point where I was like I'm so tired of oatmeal and I'm so tired of um what was it? apples so now I just explore and I realize I like like plums I like peaches and stuff like that so anytime that I feel myself getting bored I hunt meaning I go research YouTube and see what other people making as far as recipes I try see if I like it and then I love it and I can add more stuff to it so that's why I'm not bored anymore Another question she asked was, what pulled you through the water fast and do you have any loose skin? Um, my water fast pretty much was just me doing this for myself. Um, whenever you do any kind of fast, you should you should like meditate and get your mind right. Like you can't just go into a water fast thinking like, oh yeah, I ain't gonna eat for five days and I'm gonna be Gucci. No sis, it's not. It is a mental process and literally I pray a lot and once I make it one day, I, I give myself pep talks. I'm like, Christy, you can make it to the next day. Look, you just made it one whole day. You good. I drink a lot of water, a lot, a lot of water. I drink more than a gallon of water then because I just constantly drink water. Um, and I just, I mean, it's a competition. Like I can't really explain it because if you're not competitive with yourself, you wouldn't understand it. But it's like, I tell myself, no, like I give myself a realistic goal. Like, okay, I can do five days. Um, and then I just tell myself like, don't mess this up. You got this. Like you made it one day, you made it two days. And then I start thinking about food on the third day, baby. Tell you. <laughs> I start looking at menus and everything. It's hard, but it's definitely worth it. But again, I'll talk more about that in the water fast video. And I did mention the loose skin earlier. Yep. I got fat arms, back fat and a little thigh action, but don't worry sis. Cause at the end of October, we're going to have it a little bit tight. And then she said, sorry for all the questions, but I'm also on a weight loss journey and I'm a little bored with the food. I'm struggling. Thanks in advance for you answering my questions. And I totally understand that. But this is the point where you're realizing that you're bored, where you need to make a change. Start looking at different recipes. Start trying stuff. Start mixing stuff. Um, do that because if you don't, you will fall off at this point. Um, and sometimes, and I'm be honest, like I know I'm talking about losing weight and staying on track, but sometimes you have to allow yourself some time off. Like realistically, in these eight months, I took my birthday week off the whole week i ate like crazy and for the wedding i took off two whole weeks so just think about it. if you take three weeks out of these eight months i still lost the same 75 pounds or 74.8 pounds that i lost you just have to realize that um 
you can't go too crazy but yeah if you get bored sometimes you do need to like re-jump re-jump start yourself and that's okay like don't be sad if you say okay i'm gonna take three days off my diet but again it make sure that you're trained so that way you can get right back on because once i took that week off i knew after that i had to get back on same thing with the wedding once i took them two weeks off i knew i had to get back on and i got back on and since the wedding i have lost 20 pounds i think because from my birthday to the wedding i lost 20 and i think from the wedding to now, i mean not the wedding to now because i was only 230 in the wedding so i lost eight pounds yeah so i said 20 pounds look at me speaking that into existence but yeah so if you're already bored sis just try your best to like switch up your recipes and just try something new somebody asked about meal prep and i do have a video up it is down below you can check that out and i will be doing another meal prep video for you guys um that will go up this next wednesday because this video today is sunday if you're watching this today if not i recorded this and it went up on a sunday um so yes wednesday you will get the meal prep that i did for this week because i did something different normally i do the same meal prep like two weeks in a row but you guys are inspiring me to share with you so it makes me think and try new things so yes where you will get a meal prep video wednesday the next question is hey what tips do you have for helping those of us stick to eating healthier exercising and becoming more fit and my first tip is to do it for yourself if you realistically are ready to lose weight and you want to lose the weight then do it but if you are needing to lose weight to fit into a dress because your boyfriend or your girlfriend say you're getting a little fluffy because you saw instagram models and they don't you know they looking good all that type of stuff you won't stay on it sis and it's like you'll be putting yourself through rigorous training to try to train yourself to eat right and then you'll mess up fall off and all that was in vain so my tips is just to do it when you are literally ready and my second tip is to not be so hard on yourself don't think you have to do everything at every time you don't have to start eating eating right um and drinking water and exercising all in the same day it's a process so you know start with cutting little stuff out your diet first and then start with adding one day a week of working out and start with adding you know your eight glasses of water you're supposed to have stuff like that that'll make you stay and the more you add stuff um to your i mean your journey then the more you start to find out like oh shoot i'm staying on this and you'll look like me eight months later and it's like dang okay well that worked all right we're getting to the end here guys i know this video is hella long my next question is i'm trying to lose weight and i found and they found some stones on my gallbladder so i'm trying to do the intermediate fasting would you share things you eat um that are healthy thank you for your videos and thank you for watching um yes like i said look at my meal prep videos my grocery hauls all that stuff like that that will help you in i know i wasn't posting them before but i am back to youtube your girl has been consistent two weeks in a row <laughs> um so yes you definitely will get a weekly grocery haul and my meal prep or whatever and that is for the people who need to know like what's out there because i'm always trying to get something new at the store just not to make my uh, lifestyle boring um so yeah check out those videos and yes girl get them gallstones out because that they scared me at first when they told me oh when you um when your gallbladder come out you're gonna gain so much weight and technically i was already fat before that and i was like oh it's gonna be so hard to lose weight but it's really not is really not but go ahead and get those gallstones and that gallbladder out because without that pain you'll be so much better next question hey love my question is do you have cheat days or a cheat meal or do you have a limit on your calorie intake when you cheat hey sis okay yes i do have cheat days um every sunday is a cheat day for me and i don't necessarily have a calorie intake like i try my best not to go over 2000 calories because i'm eating 1300 you know like regularly so i'm like okay crystal cheat a little but don't cheat like 4000 calories so i do keep it under 2000 calories and i still do do my intermediate fasting when i do it the next question is oh she got multiple questions she says what is the best workout to lose weight and if you want to lose weight you do cardio if you want to tone and get a butt and you know look like chloe and kim and all them you do strength training like squats and weight lifting and uh, resistant bands and all that stuff so to lose weight you do cardio because i've done cardio like my whole like to lose this 75 pounds 
um i've done cardio this whole time i do a little bit of strength training but not as much as i should which that's why my october i'm going to bring more strength training in um so yeah to lose weight you want to do cardio and you said what are some inexpensive meals to make for weight loss and i'm telling you those are veggie pasta bags that i get because each bag you can make two servings out of so if you just in walmart i always have them 297 now kroger they hot they 449, 497, something like that. Don't buy from Kroger. I wish I had known that earlier in my weight loss journey because I was spending so much money at Kroger and I could have been at Walmart. But yeah, those pasta bags, because that is 100% veggie pasta. Um, and it's just zucchini and lentils with a sauce. So it's not many calories. And you can take that bag and turn it into many meals. So I say you can get that. Ground turkey is pretty stretchable. If you do servings of that, um, you can get that for four meals. Um and what else inexpensive uh i guess like packs of chicken because you can buy a family pack of chicken and then you know you can bake it all and then break it up and get you two you know two pieces of chicken or the, i think the serving size is like 95 grams or whatever of chicken and you can do that and her last thing is what fruit fruits are best for weight loss well from my research and what i heard because even keto people can eat berries raspberries strawberries blueberries blackberries those are really good for weight loss because i feel like if people on keto can eat those that means it's low sugar low carbs so i would say berries are really good for weight loss and my last question in this super long video is what toning exercises do you do for loose skin for example and that is when you do strength training um i actually just got some resistant bands it's the ones that are light medium heavy um that you just put around and you use those you do squats and you use them to do leg lifts and butt raises and lunch uh lunges and stuff like that um so in order to do those toning exercises you want to incorporate weights which i know that scares a lot of people because you think oh my god i'm gonna get bulky and i'm gonna be like the michelin man um and you really won't um so you don't have to worry about that that just helps build a muscle in your body and it like that's what tone like that's what make that waist snatch whenever you do the strength training exercises because again cardio is for weight loss and strength training is for that body <laughs> So guys, we finally made it to the end of this video. I know it is super long, and if you made it to this end, and I know you rock with your girl, but I wanted to be very detailed and just give my story in this video, especially since it's been forever since I updated you guys. I won't take that long again, because since I am back to YouTube and I'm being consistent and I'm still on my journey, I will update you more, you know, I will update you regularly. Now, I probably won't do a weekly weigh-in thing like I do with that. I probably still do just a monthly update with you guys. Um, but I will, like I said, if you follow me on other social medias, you'll see when I post what I eat in the days. Um, on my Instagram story, I do what I eat in a day and then I save it to my highlights. So if you miss it, you can go back and see it there. And yeah, I'm just so excited. Like, it's crazy. It worked for me this time since, like, I really lost weight and I'm really on my way to lose what I really want to lose. And like clothing has changed for me i have went from a size 22 24 to in some clothes of 14 16 and a lot of clothes of 12 14 which is so crazy like, like i have bought so much stuff from walmart don't sleep on walmart sis and all my stuff from walmart is a size 12 14 um i got this shirt from rainbow and it's a size 1x which is a 14 16 in junior plus like it's so crazy to me my pants are size 14 even my shoe size went down i'm wearing an eight and a half now um i can fit all my heels again um all my necklaces come down a good length they don't be way up here like they chokers and i just overall feel good so i definitely will continue my journey i definitely will good continue to share with you guys because again when i read these comments from you guys where you know you're telling me like since you're my motivation keep up your goals that just be like okay crystal they thought you had about some cookies let it go you don't need it like it motivate me you know so i just think god for y'all like seriously like if it wasn't for my subscribers egging me on this whole eight months i would be like i have been every other year you know what i'm saying and i give credit to you and i also give credit to myself because i've come a mighty long way and i promise i'm not going back i looked at all my videos i really need to put all those videos on private because that's embarrassing <laughs> but i won't i will leave them up so if you go back and see all my other weight loss journeys when i did herbal life and you know when i was eating food and i showed her what i eat in the day back in the day stuff like that so again it's a struggle a weight loss journey is not easy but i promise you when you 
get to the point where you're happy in your skin it'll be all worth it so again i want to thank you for watching this long video and if you made it to the end then i know that you really rock with me and i know that we got this remember i always use the hashtag one day at a time trust the process and we got this like if you just stick with something i stick with those and, and i tell myself even that in my time when i'm when i feel like i'm gonna fall off i'm like crystal trust the process you didn't gain it overnight you won't lose it overnight keep it up and i'm telling you when you make your mind up you'll be able to do it so i done tried to end this video three times so let me go ahead and end it now if you are not subscribed this is your time to go ahead and subscribe and turn on your notification bells because the next video you see will be a meal prep video or a recipe video or a vlog i don't know one of those videos but you won't know what video i post unless you subscribe so i will see you guys later